everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are back with the HP Stream PC, and now we're going to try to load on some additional operating systems. So I've got a version of Chromium OS on this little memory stick here, and then I also was able to install uh, Ubuntu on this external USB 3 uh, drive adapter with an SSD attached, so we're going to try to boot that up on here as well. So let me go into the BIOS first. So you get to the BIOS just by turning on the computer and then tapping Escape. So it's not F2 or Delete, it's Escape on this one. And what you can do is you'll get a little screen here and you just hit F10 for uh, BIOS setup. You can also use that screen once you uh, set up legacy mode. You can actually decide which USB device you want to boot from too, which is pretty cool. Uh, what you have to do first though is go into system configuration here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, go to boot options and uh, what you want to do is just go down to uh, legacy support and turn that on. And what this will do uh, will apparently allow Windows 7, Vista, XP, and even DOS to run. I haven't tried those yet. Uh, but it is. it looks like it's possible to get uh, some older operating systems installed here as well. And that will also allow you to uh, boot off of USB devices because with that legacy support off, it tries to verify that, you know, make sure that it's a, a legit operating system or something like that. And what we're doing is ent entirely illegitimate, but it will work and not break the machine, hopefully. So uh, that's the BIOS configuration. We're going to start with uh, Chrome here. I'm just going to pop this uh, into the USB 2.0 port here. And let me exit and... Uh, with discarding the changes because we've already made those changes there. And I'm going to hit escape again and I'll show you that, that menu where you can choose what you want to boot from. So I'm going to go over to boot device, op device options at F9 and I'm going to choose uh, the USB hard drive and it's got my little Kingston data traveler here. If I had another drive plugged in, I could actually choose the, uh, uh, the USB 3 drive as well. So we'll hit this and now we'll boot up Chrome OS. So let's uh, come back when that's booted. All right, we've got our Chrome OS booted. It took a little bit longer to boot than it does on a real Chromebook, but uh, we'll let this thing do its thing here for a minute, and it's going to go try to find an update. Now, I should note that I have it plugged into a wired Ethernet adapter that I've got, that I've got plugged into the USB 3.0 port. The reason is, is that uh, this has, I, th I think, a Broadcom chipset that doesn't have any drivers available for it on Linux or Chrome OS. So you're going to need to bring uh, some kind of networking adapter to bear uh, to make this work. So I'm just going to pop into my account real quick, and we'll see how well Chrome OS functions on the Stream PC. I think what we're going to see here is some pretty sluggish performance, and the reason is is that I haven't found a lot of Linux operating systems that support the APU that's in this device, and I haven't looked all that hard, so if you know of something that I don't know of, uh, do let me know, uh, because you'll see the video performance on this is just not uh, what we were seeing on the Windows side of things, uh, but it does run, so we've got uh, Chromium going on here. We'll just pop open, uh, let's just go to CNN for some reason. I always go to CNN. Uh, let's see how uh, quickly this loads up a page here. I think it's going to be a little bit on the slow side again, just given that we don't have the optimal drivers installed. But it looks like it's, it's detecting the video correctly. So um, it actually looks like it's uh, at the right resolution because the screen doesn't look distorted, but it is really slow. It's actually slower than it is in Windows uh, booting up this web page. But uh, we were able to get Chrome OS to boot up off of a USB stick, which is pretty cool. So let's check out Ubuntu now. All right, we've got Ubuntu loaded up. It actually boots up pretty quickly. One thing that I noticed, though, is that when things are really cooking on the USB 3 uh, port on this device, not in Windows, but anything else that I've tried, I hear noise out of the speakers, and that kind of freaks me out. So, so far, everything's working. Nothing's broken yet, uh, but it has been a little, little crazy just to hear that sound. But let me uh, pop into my account here, and let's see... Uh, how well Ubuntu loads. I think we're going to have the same issues that we're having with Chrome OS, which is this rather slow uh, video performance, again, because the driver isn't really up to date here. So it looks like we're getting the right uh, resolution again, um, but I don't think I'm getting really all that great performance here. So let me load up uh, the Firefox web browser real quick, and we'll see how that comes up. Yeah, so you can see it's really slow. Uh, coming in here, and it also didn't even detect my USB network card on this uh, this boot here either. So, um, so kind of slow, uh, but you know, again, not unexpected because we don't have all the right drivers installed. I think it would perform a lot better uh, if there was a driver suite for for Ubuntu that uh, works specifically with this HP computer. But um, I can try some other stuff too. So let me know if you wanted me to try to boot up something else. I did try to load up uh, Open Elec, which is that dedicated boot of XBMC Media Center, that wouldn't load at all, again, I think due to some of these driver issues. So I think, you know, this is a really new computer. I'm not sure how new the APU is on it, uh, but I just don't think there's a lot of driver support yet, and that might be why uh, we're not getting that great of a performance outside of Windows. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.